irresponsible, grown-up, magical bird. Where does one go to find oneself, I asked. Granted, I only asked myself, and I probably should have gotten a second opinion, but there you go. So I decided to seek the center of all wisdom and knowledge in Arcadia. This dark people's city? No, no, no. Some fortune teller in Zahn. She stiffed me. It was actually blind luck that I ended up in the dark people's city. I never intended to go there, but it was a real blessing, I tell you. These guys, they let me read anything I wanted. And I've learned a lot. Like, for example, did you know that a Diavon water snake can grow to be almost 200 meters long? I didn't. I didn't really want to find out either, because now I'm really freaked out by water, but there's not much else to do in the place except read. Read, eat, read, sleep, read, go to the bathroom, and read at the same time. It's really very, very dull. But all that introspection gave me perspective. I wisened up, and now I'm ready. Ready to get married? Ready to admit that I'm scared out of my feathers about getting married. So no, still on that journey. Ask that burning question. Hmm. Go ahead. What's it like being a talking bird? My beak is a finely tuned instrument of love. When I speak, girls tremble. And also guys. Guys tremble too, but not in the same way. Right. That was... a disappointment. <laughs> About April. I don't understand what happened to her. Oh, she was the sweetest, prettiest, nicest girl you could have ever imagined. And she was a real trooper. Save the world and all. You don't see a lot of people doing that these days. But things didn't turn out the way she thought they would. She couldn't go back to her world, first because she was afraid, and then later because she lost her powers. On top of that, the Azadi were after everyone from Stark. Everyone with special powers, everyone who was allied with the Magicals. In the end, I think April just snapped. She was so angry, she felt so betrayed. She had to take it out on someone. Fortunately, she decided to take it out on the Azadi. I wanted to stick with her, I really did, despite the yelling and the bitterness. But in the end, she just up and left me. Right in the middle of nowhere, too. I tried looking for her, but after a while, I gave up. I got the distinct feeling she didn't want me around anyway. So, I left to begin a new life. I don't think there's anything you could have done, Crow. Sometimes the people we know and love change, and sometimes that means we have to move on. What powers did April lose? Her special thingy, being a shifter. First, she didn't want to go back to Stark, and then, one day, she couldn't. Her powers went poof, and no one knows why. Ooh. What? What? Why did you go, ooh? Because it's spooky. Also, I like saying it. It makes my beak vibrate. You don't think she lost her powers because she felt her powers were the cause of her misery? It's... Of course I... I wouldn't know what... Huh? Seems to me that she was scared about facing reality again. And she decided that her powers would only bring more pain. So she lost them. Oh, oh, that's, uh, uh, psychology, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. You human females from Stark are really clever. So, hey, if we hit April with a really big frying pan, she'll come to her senses, right? What? No. Yes, yes, it's called therapy. I read about it somewhere. Uh... Well, not read, more like heard. In a seedy tavern near the docks. After eleven thimbles of Mary Minstrom's yellow fire. Just before dawn. On a Monday. But I remember the fella who told me. Big lad. Arms as thick as oak trees. A stunning collection of scars. Nice eye patch. A real therapist he was. Sounds like it. Uh, wait, maybe it was rapist. It was nice chatting with you, Crow. It's been very informative. Glad to help, doll. Doll? Um, I mean, independent and self-reliant female person who's not an object to be ogled at or used solely for my own personal amusement and pleasure. 
<laughs> that ending of that conversation was so random. Still feeling... Sort of. I guess that's understandable, being cooped up like this. Maybe I'll go and take that nap now. Yeah. Good idea. So I didn't want to talk to you anyway. I wanted to look at that. Looks very complicated. Can I look outside, though? Don't seem to be able to. No, can't. Bummer. Right. Welcome to our city. The White of the Kin is expecting you. Who? That's the White Dragon, Zoe. How did she know I was coming? I stopped asking those kinds of questions a long, long time ago. You just have to start buying into stuff like destiny and precognition, or you'll go nuts. She waits in the library. Follow me. Right. Okay, no point in asking any questions, is there? Absolutely not. It'll only make your head hurt. Crow definitely knows what's going on. What the hell is up with this branch, anyway? Hey, buddy. This is a really strange place. Tell me about it. I couldn't sleep for the first couple of weeks. All those... Fancy lights, and the spiders freak me out. Spiders? Exactly. Crow probably knows this place inside out. Well, this is uh, familiar looking again, so. Wait. Did he just fly by? Because I don't see that. Yeah. I can hear him flying there, so. Alright. Let's uh, go talk to her. See what uh, she has to say. Crow, stop going through the floor. You're cool, but... Yeah, don't use no clip. Oh, I wonder what Zoe has to say about this. Nothing. There are some huge things out there. I hope those um windows are thick. There are some huge She just repeats. Great. Tons and tons of books. Hi, I'm Zoe. How fascinating. You're here, and yet you're not. Can I touch you? Can you... What do you mean by... Who's that? Oh, I forgot. This is my friend Brian Westhouse. He's a... Um... A traveller, I guess. You sound... So familiar. You've heard my name before? Your presence, your being, sounds familiar. And also... also disconcerting. I feel a prickling on my skin. What do you call it? Goosebumps? My apologies, ma'am. I don't wish to perturb you. Maybe I should just leave you... No, please. Stay. Perhaps it's... I'm sure it's just me. You see, I don't understand this body yet. I don't know what any of these feelings mean. I apologize. You're most welcome here, Traveler. Thank you, ma'am. I'll leave the two of you alone while I... 
peruse this magnificent library. You've come to me for the same reason April came to me not long ago. You're stuck. I'm stuck here in Arcadia, yes. I need to go back to Stark. But this isn't the only place you're stuck. You're stuck in life, like driftwood to a river. You lack direction. You lack faith. Maybe so, but that's why it's important that I go back home. People there need me, and I want to be there for them. I don't want to be adrift anymore. I want to be where I'm needed the most. And that will bring you home, Zoe. Your commitment to your friends, your belief in yourself, and your abilities. Faith will bring you where you're needed the most. How? It's easy. You're not really here. That's what you said earlier. But it doesn't make sense. I'm right here. Yes. And no. You're unlike anyone I've ever met. You belong to the story time. Okay, now you're being cryptic. I've had enough of that. I can't take any more riddles. Just tell me what it means. I'm sorry. It's not cryptic to me. It just is. With all due respect, I just want to get home. I want to help my friends. I want to stop the bad guys from winning. I want to... I want to be myself again. The last time I was here in Arcadia, I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I was back home in Stark. How did I do that? When I fell asleep on the airship on my way here, I didn't disappear. That's because you didn't dream. If you dream the right dream, it becomes reality. You can go anywhere you wish. To go back to your own world, you just have to wake up. You mean this is all a dream? This isn't a dream, but you're dreaming. I'm confused again. All I need to do is go to sleep and dream about home, and then I'll wake up and be home. Maybe. I've never met anyone like you. I only know that there are some who have a strong connection with the world of dreams. And you are one of them. I'll just have to take your word for it. Help me fall asleep. Help me dream, or wake up, or... Whatever it is you said I need to do to get home. Time's running out. I have to be where I'm needed the most. Come here. You must find her, Zoe. You must help her. Wherever she is, that's where you're needed the most. Whoa. What? Where did she go? What did you do to her? Did you use magic on her? I didn't do anything to her, funny bird. She left this place on her own. But, but she just vanished. I know. Isn't it fascinating? There's no one else like her. She's special. I've never met a human girl who hasn't been special. For all I know, they've all got strange powers and important destinies. I just hope she's okay. Most interesting. Brian is going to play a larger role in some of this, right? I'm getting that feeling. So this is the middle, essentially. This is the between. Home? Where am I? Well... Let's just run down here and see what happens. Now that looks so familiar. It, it reminds me of something, but I can't quite put a name to it. What? Is that magic or is that fire? No, that's not fireworks. fireworks. Maybe they're celebrating something. Nah, it looks more like magic. Also, alligator. <laughs> 